one yeah. stitch at a time and you just gain your confidence now this you were going to demonstrate the this, moss stitch the moss stitch which Ooh, is hoo, hoo. the one that's used in the, and the reason why we chose the moss stitch is because it stretches and then bounces back so if you need to fit something actually i'll just oh, hang on let me just if you want it to fit something and then bounce back moss stitch trebles don't do that you see the treble um treble clusters won't boing back they're not just, as yeah, they're not, they're not as, as yeah. And if you're going to put it on your head, you want it to hold because you know you don't want something on your head that's like going to crush your head in and feel tight. Yeah, but you still want it to. See, I think that that is just so flattering. I like this one. Yeah, so I'm definitely I'm pinching. It's very this hippie one. chic, isn't it? Yes, it's a bit boho. Yes, and I probably tuck my hair under it as well. Yeah, you know, so when I'm out walking, it'll be nice and neat. Yes, and your ears will be snug. Yes, my ears will be snug. So there's my, my ear warmer. And I love the flower. I can find it then. I love the little flower detail on this as yeah, well. Yeah, it is pretty. Anyway, so that's why this is moss stitch. And it is really, really simple. So I shall get the camera onto Helen. Right, I've now got to remember how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, because we've slept since then. I have. I have slept since then. And um, where am I? Oh, my goodness. Let me move over. Can I move that little chappy out of the way? Yeah, move whatever you like. So with the moss stitch, um, you need to do it in multiples of two. It won't work with an odd number. Um, it just it just won't work. Betty, um, you go for it. She says, I'm going to have a go while absolutely. watching this live back. Yeah, pause us, rewind us, whatever you like. And Sandy says the new colours are lovely, and Lynn says the colour. Uh, I love those colours. They are, they're rather they fabulous, are aren't they? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 16, and I have got the right hook for this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, what size needle Daphne wants to know this, we, with a for, pattern? With this pattern, with the moss stitch one, yeah. it's a five and a half. Five and a half. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do to start this is, again, we're actually going to be locating the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, this one. And we're going to put our hook straight in. So no yarn overs at this point. And we're going to do a double crochet, in which case we now put our yarn over, pull through. We've got two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. And we have completed one double crochet. OK, then what we do is we skip one chain here. So we leave this one. We go to the next one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I skipped a step. OK, I skipped a step after we've done this. If you look here, you will see that there's two loops there because obviously we pulled through two. What we're going to do to seal the deal is chain one because that kind of seals it and yep. stops it sort of being too wide. Now we skip. So besides, one, if, you just, if you if you didn't do the chain, they wouldn't match in the top row and the bottom no, row. Exactly. So in. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, chain one. Okay, skip one into this one, in, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through, chain one. Okay, and we do this right to the end of the line. So this is why, because you're literally skipping every other one, this is why it is in multiples of two. Um, if you get to the end and you've got a stitch left, you would need to really start again on the first row. Um, but if I've got a stitch left, I'm not going to start again with this demo. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there now. We'll just fluff it. Yes. It will look just a bit weird. At the moment, it doesn't look 
like anything. So on the last stitch, we go into the last stitch, do as before, yarn over, and then through two. And instead of chaining one, we're going to chain two. Okay, one, two, and we turn. Now what we're going to be doing is when you look at it like that, it's very difficult to see how the pattern's forming. But if you look closely, you will actually see um, that there's holes. You'll see how that stitch, you can see how the top and bottom are connected. Whereas these ones, you'll see that there's kind of obvious holes. So we're going to work into the obvious hole. So what we do is pop our hook through, pull the yarn over. We've got two, pull through chain one jump one in we go pull through pull through chain one and we literally keep going it takes about three rows before this looks yeah like anything so just this is one of those where I'm just going to have to say to you, trust the process. Um, and if, I mean, in any of these, apart from the hat, because that's kind of got quite a lot of stitches, I would suggest starting with either the, the um, ear warmer or the, the hand warmer because the number of stitches aren't that big. So if you needed to start again because you weren't sure, then you're not undoing too much work. So I think there's 20. The 20 or 20 to 2 it's not the, many it's, yeah, yeah it's not many warmer. it's the last one go through and then chain two one two and turn and we're going to complete that same process back so again you'll see can you see the obvious deal the films yeah okay so we're going to go in the hole pull the yarn through chain find your next hole through chain chain next hole again this is a really simple pattern that once you get a rhythm going it's really quite easy to, to but do. that's what we wanted to do wasn't it yeah. we wanted to make um designs that people could that it may seem a bit complicated at first but people could get to grips with um yes and it's repetitive so yeah and you what i want is i always sit and watch the telly while i'm crocheting and i want you to be able to sort of do it while you're doing something else um so it's one of those things where I don't want you to have to be like literally referring to the pattern yeah. every single row. You get to a point where you can just kind of free will, really. Yeah, I'm making the hexagon at the moment, and I've just had it when I'm not crocheting samples for the show at the weekend or the sample squares. Yes. So I can go home and do some tonight. Yeah. But um, I'm up to I think it needs to be 12 inches wide and up to about 10 inches wide. Yeah. So once once I I'd started. So if I pop this down now, I don't know if you can zoom in a bit, Sarah. Let's have a look. That's as far as I can zoom in. You'll start to see the moss stitch forming. Yeah, so you can see you've got like two little legs there and there and there and there. And then an opposite in it. Yeah. And then the little legs here. And it's really quite sweet. I'm just going to do one more row because I'm then going to um, do the um, fancy frill okay. around the bottom. That's my plan anyway. Has anybody got any questions while I'm just... They're all very quiet. They are. They're just in, like, shock at how easy this is. Yeah, they're just in awe of your gorgeousness, Helen. I wouldn't go that far. And the other thing it's quite mesmerizing yeah. watching but the you. other thing like 16 stitches because you're only going in every one every other one there's only like eight stitches a row so even yeah. if it was like 32 stitches there's only like 16 stitches a row which it builds quite quickly and i'm all for something that builds quite quickly oh 
because the faster it builds the faster you're done sorry i've moved the camera again i didn't mean to do that <laughs> hang on just I'm down that's what i wanted the thing is when you move a gimbal on a camera it doesn't actually go the way you think it's going to go <laughs> oh yeah because that's it's in the round up above so i want to go go down there we go and you can see ignoring the first row because that always is sort of more loopy sorry i'm ooh, trying to get ooh. zoomed in yes there we are there you go can you see <laughs> betty says busy watching daphne says mesmerized oh bless you and bat sandy says i'm taking it all in and there you go you can start to see that pattern and can you yeah. stretch it because that's it what it's it doesn't go to... massively that way however it goes massively that way yeah which is why um the gloves we crochet that way so the gloves goes up your hand so it would go like that okay whereas um the head warmer we did it that way so this was where am i this is your starting edge so yeah so you kind of what i the suggestion is you just do a measure around your head take over your ears see how big you want it to be and then do it that size but you've also got the stretch yeah exactly because the, uh, you use that stitch because it's got a stretch back again yes we've got some uh lynn says i'm just wondering what to make with the moss stitch and do i really need a fifth work in progress <laughs> absolutely yeah i should think... never have even numbers lynn <laughs> daphne says this is the best simple instructions thank you and Tarina says, I'm quiet because my phone hasn't stopped ringing yet. Three phone calls start at the same time as the last. Oh, tell them they're rude. I think that's, tell them you're busy. I, I think that's, rude. That's, very, that's very rude. Yes. So what are you going to show now? You're going, I'm going to, to show the scallop trim. Okay. So I'm just going to, with my snips, when I find I think, them. You see, I love that because it's incredibly delicate. Yes. Around there, and it looks so pretty. Right now, I'm going to try. Maybe talk amongst yourselves while I get it. Oh, okay. Up. I'm doing it in a clashing colour, <laughs> only so it shows up. But I've got to find the end. Yes, Daphne. I think I think that's rude too. Tarina used to tell them no, just no. We think it. We think it's rude that people phone you when you want to watch something interesting. Right. Would you like me to come back to you? Okay. Um, you, you, you can. You absolutely can. So, I've slept since I last did this. That's the thing. That's we the do thing. this, and we work really hard getting all the samples ready, uh, ready, and then you. Uh, do the show and then you go on to something else <laughs> yeah i'm not at the point where um i can remember it all on my own like do you know what i mean oh, yeah, i have definitely. to refer to my pattern so i'm just going to do a simple joining where i've just literally wrapped the um the contrast around my hook and i'm just going to pull it through so it is there okay now what you can do um, and what is the most simplest thing to do um, is to literally go along the edge and just do some simple double crochets because what that in effect does when you do that it creates like um i call it like a foundation i don't know what the real technical term is um but it means that you're starting off on the right foot on every stitch so I'm literally just taking the contrast through every stitch. And you can see that on here. That's the, the rows of double crochets. So there's no sped up videos with us. You, I don't like... Um, so sometimes the videos we do, like the hexagon was like 45 minutes. But I prefer you to see it in real time than... The sped up thing where you have to keep pausing, pausing. Yeah. yeah because i get quite frustrated with those because then if it's if it's in real time i can crochet along with you yeah besides it takes too much time to uh, edit them <laughs> up a exactly. bit 
Oh, 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 I'm at a critical point. And I've got to move it up. There we go. So I'm literally just going through both these of the previous row. Okay, so there right. we are. Okay, so you've got your foundation row. Yeah. Okay. Now this is probably actually not going to work very well because I don't think you've got enough stitches. I don't think I've got enough space. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll bluff it. Have yeah. I got something else I could stick it on the end of? Not really. Be right back, folks. One second. Because is it eight stitches you need? You need 16, really. Hold on, folks. Hold on. We're just having a look in the show box, which is where we... Oh, I'm going to do it on my poncho. Yeah. I still haven't finished that. I've still got one more ball of yarn to yeah. finish off. So this is my poncho because I loved it so much in the blue. Yes. In the sapphire. But I think what I'm going to do... So what's everybody else doing while they're watching this? Well, while she's doing a foundation stitch, we'll have a gossip. So what is everybody else up to? Um, well, apart from uh, Tarina, who's dealing with phone calls. Rudeness of people interrupting her crocheting. I know, I know. What do you have a recorded message say? I am busy crocheting. Leave me alone. Yes. I'm a crotchy crocheter. Yes. Oh, Sally stroking the cat. That sounds like you're like Dr. No. Is it Dr. Do no? Oh, what? No. No, it wasn't. What was his name? He had the Not Jaws, was, was it? No. I don't have a cat. I anymore. I have a choice of cats. Do you do? Go. You do. I think that's I think that's greedy. Is it greedy? I have none and you have four. No, I don't. Five. Okay, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sharon's making a dress. Is she? Yeah, that's fancy. Daphne's just relaxing and watching. And what's the cat called? Oh yeah, what's the cat called? Because inquiring minds want to know. I like to know what cat's called. Because everyone gives their cats sensible names. Yes. I call my cat Rodney Trotter. So mine was called Caption Jack Archibald Pemberton the Third. Obviously. Commonly known as Captain Jack. And not after the pirate. Okay, we'll believe you. Uh, Sadie's having a quiet five minutes of spending the afternoon with my five-year-old great-nephew. Oh, my giddy aunt. Goodness oh. me, you are. <laughs> yes. Just a oh. quiet five minutes? Are you sitting there with it like a, a large canister of gin and tonic? Because it sounds like uh, that would... You need to have one do you know what I do when anyone asks me to look after their young child? I say I'm very sorry, but Ofsted has shut me down. She likes cats. Um, <laughs> Denise says she's doing the last pocket of the Christmas. It's got pockets. <coughs> that means she's nearly done. Uh, Sandy's chilling, watching while hubby and the dog are out. Lovely. And Sally's oh, well, Sal Sally's um, cat is called Mowgli. Oh, that's a really cool name. That's a name, uh, yeah. Lynn says, where do I start? As mentioned, a few crochet projects, upcycling, a manky old Christmas light fan, need to go and water the plants, making sure my dog's fan keeps switching on to keep them cool, need to mow the lawn, but that won't be happening in this heat. No. No, not in this heat. It'd wreck the grass as well, wouldn't it? It, I would, thought. it wouldn't be good. The poor grass. Right, I think I've maybe got enough. I was going to water my plants tonight, but I've noticed that my water butt is getting very hot. So I'd be watering them with boiling water. Oh, really. that wouldn't be good, would it? But I, I, eat, I messaged a man today about coming fishing an outside tap. Not Thank just you. a random man, a plumber. <laughs> just trying to say. Well, with you, I'm never so sure. <laughs> well, I'm never sure. <laughs> I meet people everywhere. Will you do my plumbing for me? No, it's one of my neighbours has had an outside tap. What What did I say? No, I don't want to know. Can I just say, as a woman of a certain age, it's probably best not to go up to a man and say, can you sort my plumbing for me? Because that could have a... Um, that, yeah, that could. It that could, could have could be a fun meaning. weekend. <laughs> 
Yes. Oh, and breathe. But my neighbour has had a tap, and now there are four more of us who want taps. So it was Doctor No, says Saint Sandy. A uh, Sadie. Sadie. Doctor so, No. Yes. Right. Anyway, should we? Um, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Right. Can I'm going to try and get the camera back before I. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Hang on. That's turning that way. And. No. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> Just going to do that. <laughs> right. See, Sorry, that's Richard. perfect. That's perfect. Right, I'm doing it in pink so you can see it against the blue. And then the um, kitchen ceiling needs painting. What? As it kitchen ceiling needs painting as well yeah but do you know mm. what if you keep your eye on your crochet you won't notice the ceiling that's it what are you doing looking at the ceiling anyway yeah just don't look at it no i never look at the kitchen ceiling no no what are you do that for exactly pointless yeah I, actually you can't see what i just did no uh, because <laughs> sorry, <laughs> what are you doing that for <laughs> it only works if it's no, just a joke yeah you can see it right so anyway mm. moving on yeah Sorry. What I'm going to do to start the, the scallop, I'm going to add a double crochet stitch to each of the next six stitches. And I recommend along the top, can you see there's little V's? And I recommend going through both little V's. Yes. It, if you don't, it goes a bit holy, leggy. Yeah. I think that's, you know, so pull it through one. So we do one, then we go to the next one, come on, go to the next one, three, four, five, and six. Now at this point, we chain two, one, two, we skip the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to start again with five double crochets in the next but one stitch. So, one, two, just get some more yarn. So, we're getting a row of double crochets with a bump Three. in it. With a bump, yeah. When we get to five. We chain two, one, two, skip one, into the next one, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to um, chain two again, one, two skip one and i'll just do a couple in the end what i would recommend with this pattern is that you do all your moss stitch bits first then you add your scallops on last because this is one of these stitches that you have to do it several times to get it yeah does that make sense mm -hmm. and then yeah you just have to perhaps do all the scalloping together so at this point i'm now going to um turn turn mm -mm. Chain three, one, two, three. Right, so once you reach the end of the chain, and turn. Right, so in the hole at the base of the chain three, place three treble crochets. So this is my chain, ooh, chain three. So at the base, so that's the hole. Can we? Just let me to try and zoom in a bit yeah. more. Right, can you see there? Yeah. Hold it up a bit more, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We can see that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, move that other way. Right. So I'm now going to place three treble crochets in that hole. Is that the right hook? Yes. Okay. Yes. You shouldn't have me panic then. No, it's because well, I, I thought you were using the blue one before, but I wasn't paying attention. Right, let's move back out of that. That's the two. Three. Okay, so can you see 
already that we got a little bit of a fan yeah. it's a bit like um watching a picture grow isn't it right so then when i've done that okay you've then got and this is where i'm going to fudge it a little bit because i didn't have enough stitches at the yeah. end of the row what you would normally do is you would have your five stitches here and you'd place a um double crochet in the middle just to take this down i'm just going to kind of mock about with that a little bit and do that so just pretend when we get to the next stitch it'll be it proper. will make it will make more sense so now what i'm going to do is in the chain two which was this bit here okay i'm actually going to place seven treble crochets okay so this is where it gets exciting this is where you're really going to see the fan i hope Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Do you want me to zoom in? Yeah. Da 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 da. Hang on, move it down a little bit. Da da! That's it. Ignore that bit because that was just like a, yeah. a smaller one. But look at that. Can you see that gorgeous, gorgeous little fan? So now what we're going to do is we're now going to. Move it down a little bit because I've zoomed in. Okay. We're now going to find the center so we've got one two three four five so that is the center so i'm going to place a double crochet there okay and then um i'm now gonna oh, 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 oh. i'm now going to wrap my yarn and in the next hole i'm going to put another seven i love this, this sort of art deco feel to it once you learn this you can put it on anything can't yeah you? that's it i mean we've done tassels and we've done pom-poms and we've done the flowers you know that there are things that you can use them for on many different projects we've done a bit look at that folks i love that can you see Whis, that whis, what whis, do you think we're smiling at that one we are smiling at that yeah, one because that's, that's good. pretty cute isn't it that is pretty cute and this is the thing you can literally it's one of those stitches that once you get doing it you'd be like i'm gonna put a scallop on everything that's it I make mean, your husband a scarf give it a scallop <laughs> why not that's what i say so what you actually end up doing with this is you do the full fan of seven trebles along the row but at each end you do half half so you'll one. do like three at the beginning and four at the end so when you put it together if it is in the round you'll actually see that that's where they're connected yeah that they actually become one to become one sorry sarah's just i'm tired channeling the spice <laughs> girls always always i should have one of those um i don't know union jack dresses that's what i was trying to think no maybe it's been not. a very long day Sa sally says that's beautiful and it is it is it really is so i'm gonna leave that row like that but look at that folks actually that looks really nice against the blue it does doesn't it but i still got to finish the poncho so we've got to unpick that i know i know <laughs> But can we just admire it for now? Just just admire that shape along the top. Yeah, I just love it. And honestly, it is so sim simple. All you're doing is your first foundation row is you're doing like five doubles, six doubles. Then you chain two, skip one, which creates a little loop. 
then you carry on and it's that little loop that, you're that you then into. are putting mm. seven trebles and it creates this little shell i mean there's you know there's ways you can kind of carry on and add it but i just think you know i, I just love lovely. that i just absolutely love that so anything you make even the the wrap you know between yeah, your tassels you could add a scallop stitch well it's Lynn so says, simple i think i'm going to try this scalloped edge on my great granddaughter's cousin's blanket i'm hopefully finishing it off tonight that we know make yeah. sure make sure elaine you share a picture in the group definitely. in the group because we're dead nosy <clears> like now we love to see what people are doing um daphne says this is fantastic ladies thank you so much great teaching so we're going to try and do this every month yeah, yeah. so we've got a sh we've got shows this weekend yes um there is no there's not a new pattern but there's some new colorways but yes. we only did a show last couple of weeks weekend. ago yes yeah. <laughs> we've done three big launches in five weeks yes. of new patterns yes so um we we need we just <laughs> we need breath my crochet so, book melted yes yes i love crochet but <laughs> <laughs> so but we have got some um, um a, a show at the end of september we have so this 28th. weekend yes we have got um the oh I've broken my nail that's annoying um <laughs> sorry we have got uh some new colorways this weekend and uh at the show at the end of september we've got some newness yes um including a new color of the hexagon which yes. i'm making at the moment so i've got to get it finished i've got two two months i should be able to i've done half of it in three days well there well you nearly go. half there you go half minus two inches consider it finished yeah that's it i'll just wear half a but that's because the sample that we use for show is helen's and i'm you know she won't let me keep it you can keep it so you yeah can I, keep I, it. Want, I want to i want to wear it <laughs> so um the new colorway is awesome but you'll have to wait a little while yes. for that yes so yeah um if we say we say betty next time i will have a hook and yarn at the ready for the master class oh, bless you. thank you yeah we'll go we'll go over these things again and again and each time yeah. there's a new pattern we'll we'll go through yeah. the techniques and and hopefully um you know as people are getting all of the patterns there are techniques that like you can use the scalloped edge on your poncho and you know yeah and that's the thing so like in the winter woolies set um one of you know, we had obviously the pom pom maker, um, that one, the pom pom maker. But we also had the like, instructions oh, to I make the little flower. flower. Um, and can you put it onto the other camera quickly, Sarah? Yeah. So people can get a close up of the. I love see, that. Look at that. You see, I'd wear that as a brooch. But there's nothing to say you couldn't make that and pop it on your poncho. Yeah. Or make one and put it on your hexagon. Or, you know, you could almost do like um, a chain stitch loop. Yeah, like a and, frog. And, yeah, and then have the um, flower on the other side and yeah. just close something. Mm -hmm. um, but you could put this on, you know, decoration, like you say, put a brooch back on it. Um, yeah, it, it. it's really teaching you lots of different techniques mm. that you can bring together. Yeah. And um, then once you know all these different techniques, you can kind of be like, oh, you know what? I really like that. But I'm going to do a little bit of that with a little bit of that. And it kind of expands your sort of like crochet skill, really. And we're we're using different yarns, and we're using different size crochet hooks. Yeah. We've not repeated one yet. I think they've. I think the first repeat has been in um, this, where but, we've gone back to a four. But that's when we're we're launching at the weekend, aren't we? Is that the no, one? this was the, the oh, the that's wrap, the the wrap. wrap. Yeah, that we went back to a four, but the four was in the first one, which was the poncho. Yes, so we went four to five. <clears throat> to four and a half to six to five and a half back to four yeah we're running out of numbers but you know you don't have to buy them all but it just give you a nice collection yeah and i yeah. must admit i've got multiples of crochet hooks so i keep putting them down um and mine then... fall between the gaps in the sofa 
Yes, I've actually got um, a little holder for mine. I've got a Yazzie bag, one of the little mm. Yazzie bags that's got all of mine in now. And I, that makes me realise quite how many crochet hooks I've got. Because when I find another one, I put it in there and go, oh, <laughs> size five. I've got six of those. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because, oh, uh, and what I, what I, I would like to have a go with... We've been talking about this, haven't we? This yes. will probably be October or November. Tunisian crochet. Yes. So there's a possibility we'll do a kit with Tunisian. That's quite exciting. It is, isn't it? And that's you like your crossover. Yeah. I'd almost say that's your crochet to knitting crossover. <laughs> She's determined that I've got to do knitting as well. I was crocheting, says Trina when sarah was on cnc but i was too busy listening and doing what sarah was saying instead of what i was supposed to do <laughs> <laughs> and lynn sent us 50 oh, stars thank, thank you, you lynn. thank you we appreciate that that very very much um but we're going to go now because yes. you're on holiday yes and i've got to go back to the studio i'll go back to the olympics to to oh yeah i've got to go back to the studios to take the sample box for photography you have because that's how thrilling that's my how we life is. Yeah. But there we go. So well, I hope you enjoyed that. One last that. look at the little scallop because I'm really pleased with that. That is lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love that. It looks really cool in that. In it that does. Yarn, it does. It? it goes wonderfully. Yeah. A wonderful contrast. So Daphne's giving you a round of applause. Oh, thank you, Daphne. But um, yeah, we're, we're going to do this once a month in the group. So if you're watching this on my page and not in the group, please go across and join. And as I said, I'll just put the link to it. No, that's not it. If you do at, and it's called Sarah. Sarah's Cody Crochet Club. And you can join it. And if you do want to grab any of the existing kits, we got them on my page sarahpay.com or co.uk co.uk thought so so if you go on to the, if you go on to there you'll see a section on um uh crochet yes. i was gonna say knitting then so you've got got it in my head now so woolen crochet and then in there there's loads of patterns and kits and stuff for you to play with which um i hope you you enjoy having a look at so uh, tarina's going to turn the phone off and, and watch for the beginning. beginning yeah you definitely should Bless but you. have a nice evening uh yeah thank you uh daphne and lynn um who else yeah um thank you very much for joining us it's been it's been a quite a fun night yes, it has and hope hope it's been helpful to people yes to enjoy the see sun. how things go um, and if you are at festival and you see me, please say hello, because I'm Billy No Mates. Um, it's possible that I might be. And if you're at a festival and you see me, you're hallucinating. Yeah, it cause wasn't she, me. Because she, yeah, it's not <laughs> Helen. She's on holiday. So uh, good night, everybody, and um, have a thoroughly lovely evening. And don't let the bed bugs bite. I was going to say, don't let the weather get to you i'm looking forward to going home and sitting in the garden for a bit yes. enjoying a nice yeah. long gin and tonic uh so, so tracy's just finished her work see you at festival <laughs> see you soon bye, bye. bye.